building your dream home or your retirement home. Plenty of people went after that goal back in 2021 when interest rates were low and people were flocking to the valley. But homeowners throughout the valley in these brand new homes say they are dealing with ongoing problems. Fox says Lauren Martinez spoke to these homeowners about these headaches. Buying a new home build is not as easy as following a blueprint to build it. In August, we introduced you to a man who moved into his new home in May. The cosmetic issues, like some of the doors not closing smoothly or the right appliances installed, resonated with a lot of viewers. We received messages from homeowners across the valley that shared their own stories of purchasing a brand new home and discovering issues. I couldn't tell you the number of items. There's pages full, at least six pages full. Mike and Olivia Kraselik moved into their new build in the Valley in December of 2021. One open. Some of the items on their fix it list range from small to major. After it rained this summer, Olivia heard dripping in the wall. When they came, they determined that our AC unit was reversed. The pipes were reversed. Chris Ellick said there was stucco in the pipes, which caused everything to back up in the pan. The two week fix ended up taking a month to repair. They contact customer service and wait on trades to show up for repairs. Trades include carpenters, electricians, drywall installers and others. I mean, they call and they say we're going to be here tomorrow. We change whatever we have and we're here waiting for them. Sometimes they show, sometimes they don't. And the window is not 8 o'clock. It's like 8 to 10, 8 to 12. The couple are documenting everything as they approach their one year warranty. Inch by inch and make sure everything's done because once that December 3rd date's over, it's on us. In the same community just a few minutes away, Doug and Sue Perns moved into their home in September of 2021. Three months later, they discovered a small crack above the kitchen counter. So that was from mid-December until now, and it's approximately 35 feet, if not more long. The 35-foot crack stretched over to their living room. We paid a lot of money for this house, and it's just very upsetting. We have yet to have a housewarming party here because we're embarrassed. We're embarrassed to have people come into this house and see, knowing what we paid, and see a crack from the kitchen all the way here into the family room. In September, we spoke with the Perns right after they cleared their living room. Their bags were packed because for two weeks, they had to stay at a hotel while the crack was repaired. Pern said the builder will reimburse them $155 to be housed each night and $35 each for food. From what we were told, they're just going to cut a straight line of drywall out of here and then they're going to patch it along the way. Pern said they're not the only ones in the neighborhood that have been temporarily displaced for repairs on cracks. I just hope they do it right. I mean, what happens when the warranty runs out in another year? And some of these homeowners haven't noticed the crack or the crack occurs after their one year. Who's responsible after that? And this is not the first major fix. Their kitchen island was removed in May because of an issue. Plumbers had to unhook some of the pipes and a new sink was installed. So there's just a lot of costs after you move in that somebody out there is eating. The couple says they'll see how things settle in regard to the ceiling and go from there. Nobody's advertising that these problems are happening. We're all having to advocate for ourselves and find other people who have the same problem. I'd like to really know some of the experience that these people had under their belt when they walked into our house to build this thing. On the other side of the valley, we spoke with a homeowner in a new build. She closed in August of 2021. I'm asking for what I paid for. Over time, she said the floor of one of their rooms is slanting in. One of the bathtubs is bowed so it flexes against the wall. Now we're seeing cracks in the ceiling. I just, I, I don't even know. There's just so many issues. I guess one of the biggest issues is our pantry. Um, in the summer, our food, it got so hot in the pantry that our food spoiled and melted. We had chocolate in there that melted, peanut butter that was like soup. And when I first reached out to 
their fix was to keep the door open. And I said, well, then what's the point of having a door? So after months and months and back and forth, they now have suddenly have a fix that involves putting a vent in there. She said getting what's needed fixed is not the issue. It's having to deal with what feels like an ongoing process. Do a good job the first time so that we're not constantly having people coming in and out of our house for over a year, having to re rearrange our work schedule, school schedule, whatever we have going on. Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. We reached out to the builders. Some have yet to respond. One builder said leadership is unable to speak at this time. And next week we will sit down with a field supervisor who worked for a local builder and the Nevada State Contractors Board to see if these problems are part of a trend.